Hey dudes and dudettes, how do you do? It's me Navidro here and today I am going to show you how to record with OBS without getting any black screen if you are using a Nvidia laptop. You may also try this at AMD but it is at your own risk because I do not know anything about AMD. No. If you are using Windows 10, go and download the latest version because most of you might be using classic version of the OBS which dropped in support long time ago last last August I think they dropped support for that and they made a new version download that new version if you are using Windows 10 and then now what you do is go to OBS studio icon right click on that and go to properties compatibility and make sure this runs in the compatibility mode for Windows 7 and check these three boxes if they aren't checked already and click OK now the next thing you do is go to Nvidia control panel I don't know what's the lag here and basically I'm gonna show you what I mean go to set physics configuration right here and you can see that Intel HD graphics 620 maintains my laptop display whereas the GeForce 940MX maintains my physics so it is only logical to use integrated graphics for OBS now go to manage 3d settings program settings and your OBS, pro OBS program should be right here in the drop down menu click on that OBS and select the preferred graphics processor for this program as integrated graphics not the Nvidia processor I, I, because I have mentioned why it, it is like that already and click apply Nvidia control panel always lags we can't really do anything about that okay now it's done now basically you should know that you have to create a scene and then go to sources now you should go to game capture right by right clicking on the source go to add and then game capture before you click on this the game the game you want to record or play must be running in the background with that said go to game capture rename the source with any name you want preferably the name of your game ds3 if i'm gonna play dear dark souls 3 now click on this multi adapter compatibility then go to mode uh, it is capture any full screen application now you should drop down it and select capture specific window now there's a extra window option here you should click the window option go to something dot exe your name of the game must pop up right here if it is running in the background click on that if you if it worked the preview of the game which is running in the background must pop up right here if that pop ups it means that it worked so you can actually press ok now go to the game directly and start playing it your game will be recording at the background that's it that's all there is to uh, OBS for now